everybody, Carolyn here, and today I am going to be setting up for Stray Kids' newest album, Eight. I'm so freaking excited about this today. So yeah, if you don't know, Stray Kids are making a comeback on July 19th, which is actually the anniversary of the first day that I uploaded a video to this channel, or not to this channel, to the main channel. It's my anniversary of YouTube. Um, I made the YouTube channel before I uploaded my first video, but I count my anniversary as the day I uploaded my first video, which is July 19th. So shout out to Stray Kids for coming back on my anniversary. They did it for me, truly. Um, but yeah, so today we are going to be going through Stray Kids' album versions and everything. And yeah, so we have a lot to set up for today. We have a lot to talk about. I also need to split my Stray Kids binder in preparation for this comeback because it's just not gonna fit in Stray Kids too. We need to create the Stray Kids non-album binder. It is finally time to complete the Stray Kids non-album binder. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go over all the versions first and then we are going to introduce two new binders and then we are also going to put away all of these fillers. So yeah, before anyone asks, I do make these fillers myself. So they are of this kazoos. I have one for each member um, and they're really, really cute and I really like them. Let's go ahead and get into all the versions because this is going to take a while to go through, I think. So the first version is the limited version, which is the eight version. I have not really seen this go out of stock in too many places yet, but also JYP has been better the past couple eras about keeping the 8 version in stock until like the day of the comeback. Usually once the comeback happens it gets a little harder to find them in stock on stores because they stop producing them but this era is a little different because in the past the limited version has had the same photo card set and the same inclusions as the other versions um, but this time around it is actually its own complete version which is very interesting. So the 8 version comes with a photo book CD, a portrait poster, which is one of eight, a monochrome photo receipt, which is also one of eight, a mini newspaper, bitmap mini poster, and one of eight photo cards. These photo cards are not the same as the normal versions, which is very different for this era, but I kind of like it because I feel like in the past couple eras we've been cheated out of like getting so many photo cards because in the past we used to get like three, four photo cards in a Stray Kids album and now we get one <laughs> one or two so yeah so that's exciting and then also for the pre-order you get a folded poster and a sticker pack so that is the eight version so these are the normal versions chick chick version and the boom version so these are considered the normal versions for this era the regular photo book versions so we have two different covers we have two different photo books for these versions we have two different CDs, a mini photo book, which is interesting, four cut photo, looks like there's only one type of those, and then you get one out of 16 photo cards, which just like JYP please, <laughs> but at least you also get a unit photo card, so there's eight unit cards. Praying for a Min Chan, everybody manifest a Min Chan unit card for me because they literally, they, these boys, these boys have like three unit cards together and I am feeling deprived. So please, I want to add to my Min Chan unit card collection, please. Yeah, this is the normal version. Not too much going on here. I kind of miss when they would give us like multiple cards. Like I would have been fine with another set of cards if they had given us two cards per album um, and then a unit card. Like what is stopping K-pop companies from giving us more cards? Like this is literally JYP Entertainment who gives five photo cards per album for twice. Like Nyan's latest solo album had four photo cards in it. Like anyways, next we also have the letter version. This is new for this era. It looks like it's just like an envelope with a postcard set that comes in it, a CD, and then a photo card, but you only get it during pre-orders, which is kind of nerve wracking. So I'm thinking about ordering a couple of extras of these outside of my member claims. I am doing a member claim again this era, um, but I'm thinking about ordering some extras for myself outside of my member claim, just to like increase my pulls because I do want to collect OT8. And if you only get a photo card for pre-orders, that makes me a little concerned. So anyways, there's that. We also have the accordion version, which is the member version for this era. Now this version has gotten a little bit of controversy in the Stray Kids community because these are the concept photos for Lose My Breath, which was a collaboration that they did with Charlie Puth. The song was not made by Three Racha. They participated on it, but the credits, the majority of the credits 
went towards Charlie Puth. Um, and we don't like him in this household, so I did not support that release. I didn't say anything bad about it, but I just didn't repost anything that included the song or like promoted the song. So I was a little hesitant about this version. I wasn't sure what I was going to do, but since Lose My Breath is not on the track list, I will be collecting this because the photos were taken by JYP. And while I'm annoyed that they just reused a previous photo shoot, I do like these covers, especially I really like Hyunjin's a lot. Um, and I also really like Jisung's a lot. I think his is really pretty and Changbin's is really pretty. So yeah, I don't feel weird about collecting this version because Lose My Breath is not on the album. I think if it was on the album, I would have felt differently about it. JYP is the one who took the photos and did the photo shoot, so I don't feel that weird about that. But yeah, so this version has eight different member versions. There's eight different CDs. There's a lyric paper. Um, it comes with a photo card, a mini lip card, and then also a pre-order photo card, which is, which is pretty standard for Stray Kids. I probably will also collect the mini lip cards. These look very similar to what Twice has done in their past couple of Digipack versions, so I probably will collect these. I guess it really depends on how good my pulls are. <laughs> if my pulls for these aren't very good, then I might not collect them, but I usually don't for twice but maybe for straight kids i'll attempt it but yeah i'll at least collect the the two photo card sets i usually order an ot8 set for myself with a pob set somewhere so i have some time to figure out which pob set i want i'll probably wait until pob previews come out finally we have the platform version or the nemo version um so there's two different nemo versions this time around which is different than last time and this comes with a qr card for each version and then it comes with a photo card set. So you get eight cards, which again is pretty similar to what Twice did last era for their Nemo version. They had three Nemo versions and each Nemo version had like a different concept in it. So there's that. And then there's also a random photo card. And so I was trying to decide what I wanted to do about the Nemo version. And I think I, think I want to attempt to collect OT8 for it. I feel like the past couple eras for Stray Kids have been a little too easy for me. I'm feeling like I need a challenge. Um, and I think I'm going to try to collect OT8 for the random photo cards this time around. Um, I am getting some through my member claim. I also think I will order some myself um, just to kind of increase my pulls. I want to try to have at least, I think I'll order eight myself. Um, so I will try to have at least five pulls Per version because from my member claim I should be getting two and then I can just buy the last six cards I'm missing after that maybe is my plan I don't really know I don't really know maybe I'll order the Nemo version from somewhere with an OT8 set of photo cards and we'll just go from there but anyways so that's that and then it also comes with a manual card and you have to load it up to the Nemo's app blah 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 yeah <laughs> so that is all the versions for this era it's a lot of versions this time around, um, and I, while it's fun to collect all the different versions, I am happy though that we're getting boxes for most of the versions, like, it makes me happy that this is an outer box instead of like, for last era, for the past two eras, we haven't gotten boxes, and I kind of missed the boxes, so I'm kind of happy the boxes are back, though they're going to be bulky. And then, of course, there is the matter of the pre-order benefits. Now, I have been doing member claims for a couple eras now since Maxident was the first time I did member claims. And one thing I've learned about JYP during that time <laughs> is that JYP likes to drop some pre-order benefits and then two weeks later drop some more pre-order benefits. Here's what we have so far. We have Aladdin, Blue Dream Media, JYP Shop. The Nemo version has a different pop set. Um, at JYP shop, so that's why there's two JYP shops. Music Korea, Music Plant, Soundwave, With Mu, Yes24, Apple Music, and then also Target. And then there are also the Skid Shop signed postcards, which I did fall asleep during it, but my friend ended up getting four and she sold me two of hers because she was just going to collect Chan and Lino for it. And she was like, I'll just sell you my other two. And I was like, you're an angel actually, because I never miss out on signed postcards. So I'm really sad I did. There's also Barnes & Noble units that have been released. So there's four unit cards for Barnes & Noble, which I love unit cards. One of them might be Min Chan, so we will be collecting those. And yeah, I collect Chan and Lino for 
all Korean pobs and I plan on doing that. That's what's going on right now. <laughs> I collect Minchan for all the Korean pobs. I'll collect OT8 for Target and then I collect Minchan for signed postcards and usually I do my bias line which is three Racha and Lino but um, this era I'm just gonna do Minchan and we're just gonna go from there. I think I'm gonna go a little crazy and do some lucky draws this era too. Last year, I, last era I really didn't. I just want Stray Kids to have like more exciting pops, and I mean that with like all the love in my heart. I really do. Like I feel like some of their pops can be kind of boring, and other pops from other groups I collect, they're like holding candy or holding bears or like like Stray Kids did some with their skazoos, and I think that's fun. And I wish they like leaned into that more. They used to, but they don't as much anymore. So if they do some fun pops this era, they could be holding a piece of bread. Can you imagine how iconic it would be if Stray Kids had a set of pops where they're holding toast? Like, I have did it recently in their Lucky Draws. Keyhun from Monster X did it recently. I'm a Starship girl, you can tell. Um, but anyways, back to this. We have a lot to go. We have a lot to put away. So let's, let's start. I'm gonna do this backwards this time around because we're actually gonna be starting with the brand new Skids Pop Binder um, because the other one is completely full. So this is an extra um, composition book binder I had lying around and so I've decided that this is the new Skids Palm Binder, which is my third Min Chan Pop Binder, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, so I have my Liebe and Wolf Chan Pops here. And I don't really know what order I want to put things in yet, so we're just going to do this in like whatever order and then I can always adjust later on. Are these the proper sleeves though? Oh, I think they're fine. Yeah. I think I used to use this for something else. I feel like I've definitely used this before. But yeah, I will definitely rearrange this once we have previews of the pubs. And also there's going to be more pubs added, but there's just no more room in my Skids 2 pub binder. Like it is... It's completely full. I need to finish up the last couple of holes I have there and then we need to retire it because um, I am super excited though. Here's the track list if you don't if you haven't seen it but I'm super super excited um, for this new album. I think it's gonna be really good. I'm excited to see credits because you know it's gonna be all three Racha and a lot of people were like wondering about the credits. I honestly think they just went with that design and then just didn't have room to put credits on it. So we'll just get it later. Um, They're also going to go on their 40 city tour soon. I'm begging them to go to Europe first. Please go to Europe first. Um, Cause I feel like there's a lot being planned for the fall in the US and I would really rather not see them in the winter to be honest. Like if they came in October, I think that would be the latest that I would be like, oh yeah, that's an appropriate time for them to come. But also I live in the South, so like it's warm here till October. But yeah, so we'll have to see. We will have to see. But I think they're gonna announce tour fairly soon. I think it's gonna be based off of this new era because if they had announced it beforehand, like it would have been like the five star rock star concept. And I think eight is like very much a, a new era for them and like a new, like it doesn't have connections to the rock star five star eras what is this apple music that's my theory is that they wanted to do a whole new tour like with this concept which is also exciting because jyp shop is going to be s sending the skids magic school stuff soon and i bought a lot of like concert merch for that um thinking that they were going to be going on tour this summer and i was like hopefully it's not within june but hopefully they send that soon i think I think the 27th is the shipment date for that, which is coming up. So I'm really hoping that they send that very soon. Um, also, I think I have Soundwave here and I feel like Soundwave is gonna be hollow. I was talking to a friend about it and let me know what you think about this. But like, does that not look like it would be hollow? Like, do those cards not look like they're insinuating that they're hollow cards? It just says they're Selka photo cards, like they're selfie cards. This is for the set version. That's why it says like two out of eight random cards and then like a sticker, circle sticker card. I don't know, but I think I might end up ordering Soundwave for my accordion version. That's what I normally do is collect OT8 Soundwave, but 
Also, if they do like Make Star, holo cards for Make Star, I might do that. Make Star has been like our only holo Korean card for the past couple of years, or past couple eras at least. And I just miss when they used to do more holo cards. Like, I just miss holo cards a lot. So, anyways, that's what we've got going on for this so far. Like I said, there's definitely going to be more in the next drop, but I just wanted to have those away. Next, we got to reorganize the Stray Kids binder. So this is Skids 2. The cover of the new binder, I'm going to want to use eight albums. So like, do I make this the merch binder? I guess I could just move the covers. So what we're going to do is we are going to take out... <gasps> I'm still missing Jisung's Nemo card. I've got to find that. Editing, Carolyn, that is your job. Find Jisung's Nemo card because... This is how little I was like, I'm so glad that they didn't do these ornament cards again because I was like not excited about these. You can tell by the fact that I'm still missing Jisung, like you can tell that I was not that excited about this. So album stuff ends here and this is all, this is like half, not even half, more than half. It's all Japanese merchandise, fan club cards, my favorite OT8 set. Superstar in LA. Love this set. Um, but yeah, this is all what this is. I've been thinking about moving like all my Min Chan units together. I really don't have many Min Chan units. I feel like I'm missing some too. I need a template of what the Min Chan units look like. There was one like template maker who did a bunch of posts recently with all the unit cards, but I couldn't see the Min Chan one. Maybe because this is more stuff than this, I will move the album stuff to this binder. Just like the opposite of what I just said I was going to do. <laughs> but maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we will just do that because there's so much like merch and stuff in here that I just, I can't do it. I just cannot do it. We're gonna move all album stuff into this binder and then we'll set up for the new era together. It's kind of fun that we're starting a new era in a new binder, like new pub binder, new three inch binder. Um, and I am excited to have a place for just merch and album and fan club stuff, especially cause I've been collecting a lot more of that recently, um, like brand collaborations and things, so. I'm really excited to have more space for Stray Kids. I always knew I was going to do it for this era. I've just been putting it off because there was no need to because it's been a hot minute since this last album. There also was some like discussion about Stray Kids it's contracts because they are turning seven years old soon. Not like super soon, but like soon enough that they're thinking about contracts. I just hope that they negotiate the best contract for themselves if they're staying with JYP. I would be honestly thrilled if they left JYP. I think that Stray Kids are more than capable of having at least their own subdivision of JYP, having their own like, I mean, I know that they're in like different, there's different divisions of JYP, but I don't know. I just feel like I would love to see them have something more. I don't love them being under JYP Entertainment. I don't love JYP Entertainment, to be honest, but I know that they really enjoy the people that they work with and they've said it multiple times, so I'll support them in whatever they decide to do. I don't think it'll end in them going their separate ways. Like, I really think that they're going to stay together no matter what they decide to do. Um, it's just a matter of if they're going to stay under JYP or not, but... I think we still have time to think about that. There was just an article about it a few weeks ago and I was like, hmm. But I hope that they negotiate the best possible contract for themselves because it's what they deserve for real. Oh my gosh, there's so much room in this binder once you take out all the extra stuff. Um, I am gonna take out this last page and put it back in the other binder. I also, for their next tour, would love to go to LA to see them. I wanna to go to the LA show so bad. I'm so sad that I missed it this last tour. Let me just peek through this real quick. I just wanna make sure that there's nothing left in here that I need or that I want to keep. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for the Magic School merch to come in. I was looking at it the other day. I was just like, I want my Stray Kids merch. 
I keep looking at it at other stores and I'm like, wait, Carolyn, you bought all this stuff. It's coming. But I've just been really enjoying collecting more like merch for Stray Kids recently. This Nasific set, so cute. I'm so happy that I was able to do that collaboration and get that set. Also, I was looking at these cards recently for Chan and Lino. Oh, here's another Minchan card. I was like, there has to be a Minchan card for this era. I own it. <laughs> okay. Good work, Carolyn. Good work, past Carolyn. All right. Everybody say hello to Stray Kids 3. 3. Isn't that crazy? That's almost as many binders as I have for Monsta X. Just kidding, it's not. <laughs> I have so many binders for Monsta X. I have four normal album binders. Um, I have two, one for Changyun, two for Kihyun, two for Wano, which Wano's gonna need a new one when he comes back. And then I have three large inclusion binders. One of one for Wano and two for Monsta X. So, or like non-album binders. So what is that? Like eight or nine binders, probably. Okay. Wow, there's so much room for activities in here. Wow. I'm so excited about that. Okay. This Soundwave set from last era, superior. Is that what I did the era before too? This was also Soundwave. Maybe I should just order from Soundwave. I should just trust it. This was the the Nemo like card set from last time. It was interesting to think about. I need to consolidate my Stray Kids templates. I was looking at my Stray Kids like highlight on my trade sale Instagram the other day and I was like, I need to consolidate these or finish some templates, one of the two. I'm gonna take my hollow white sleeves. I'm gonna need a lot of these. And we're just gonna start going through all the OT8 sets I'm collecting. So we've got the eight version as the first version. I am very happy though, that this version has its own set of photo cards. It's been really bothering me the past couple of eras. And especially because this version will be available at Target. Um, it'll be easier for me to go just like pick up a couple copies if I still need some. So, yeah, the amount of new fillers I had to print for this though, I only had like three sets of OT8 fillers. <laughs> Cause I think I made these towards the end of Rockstar era. So I was just like, oh, I don't need them for like a comeback, but I think I was just trying them out to see if I liked them to use for future comebacks. But I really do like these. I think they're really cute. It makes it so easy. And it's always gonna be on concept because the skazoos are the kids, you know? So, so it works out. And then I'm gonna do the chick chick version first and I'll do the boom version second. I wonder if they're gonna do cards like previous eras where they've had like their hands on the back or something. I think that would be interesting. What else could they do instead of like because what have they done before the past couple eras? Didn't they do something else for five star? Oh, they did fingers again for five star. I was gonna say toes, but like not for free, right? <laughs> not for free. Um, I don't know. Maybe they could do like eyeballs. Would that be creepy? It might be a little creepy. They could do like fingers again, but they could be doing like a heart. Though I don't think that fits the concept at all. I just think the name of this album is so funny though. It's a really funny name, but like, I love that about Street Kids is that I feel like their concepts are always so like interesting and unique. Like, I don't know. I just really love the way their production team does everything. Me praising JYP, just, I don't know. I just feel like the kids give a lot of input into it. Like three Racha, gives a lot of input and I also feel like the other kids have been participating more recently on like album credits and also other things so I feel like I feel like that could also be one of the reasons they haven't shown us the the list yet is because there's like some special like Felix produced song or Hyunjin produced song or something like that so I think that would be fun I also would love to see a three racha like physical album maybe not right now because i think the kids already have another like group album planned for this year but like sometime in the fall but i think it would be fun to have like a little unit album i feel like they're kind of getting to that point in their career too 
we're like, we don't have to lose anyone to the military for a long time, thankfully, but I don't know, I think it would be fun for them to do some, some unit stuff. Speaking of units, these are all the unit cards. I just put them on my normal blue fillers because I don't know what the sets are yet. Hopefully there's a Minchan one. It's been too long. Like they, they have to give us one. All right, so I'm gonna do the units because those are associated with the two normal versions. Put these here. Definitely gonna be doing a Target and Barnes and Noble vlog that day. I really hope they don't do like ticketing for any tour that day. I would just, I think they should wait until after Lollapalooza and just do it after. It looks like they have plans, like looking at their schedule to do multiple music video releases. So I'm really interested to see what gets a music video. They're pretty good about giving like most of their songs music videos or even some sort of like performance video or something. So I think that will be fun. Maybe they'll record one of their like Lollapalooza um, songs and release that as like a performance video. That would be interesting. All right, so next we're gonna move on to the Nemo set. So this is the first Nemo set, um, just like the the OT8 set you get in the Nemo versions. I still don't know. I was looking at this for a long time and thinking about it. And honestly, like, I think if I buy enough albums, it should be fine. It might be a little crazy, but I don't wanna just do like I know myself and I feel like if I just do Min Chan or if I just do like, first of all, Min Chan would not look good. I would have to do my top four. And if I do four of the members, like I might as well just do them all. <laughs> and that's how I ended up collecting OT8, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is how I ended up collecting OT8 um, is just by thinking like that. So it's just better for me to set it up like this. Like it'll give myself something to work on. And like I said, I feel like I've been looking for a challenge the past couple eras and I feel like this is JYP giving me a challenge so I'm going to take it and see how that goes but you get the full like OT8 set I think I'm also concerned about having so many extra Nemo albums like last era people bought my extra Nemo albums pretty easily like I was able to sell them pretty quickly so hopefully I'm able to do the same thing this era I'm having all of my member claim stuff sent to my Korean address. So I feel like if I end up buying all of that stuff and having it sent and it all arrives like at the same time, maybe I ship it separately because I'm gonna end up buying like my own OT8 set. And then I'm gonna end up needing extra letter version albums and extra um, Nemo albums. So I might just do like two separate packages, um, one for myself and one for my member claim and just like have everything arrive kind of at the same time. I don't even know if that made sense. But these are both the sets. And then here are the random sets, which are for some reason backwards. So we're gonna start with Jongin. I almost did this as part of a just like normal binder maintenance video. Um, and I'm really glad that I didn't because this video by itself is 40 minutes long. The other video after all the other groups was about 40 minutes long so it just didn't make sense for Stray Kids to also be in that video so I was like I'm just gonna do two parts of this video and I'll just upload two videos this week. I also have a collective haul that's going up on this channel this week too. I don't know what's going up on the main channel this week yet besides the sorting photo card video but that's okay. I think I was expecting a sponsorship package to come in this week and I was gonna do that but I don't know we'll have to see okay so these are all of the random Nemo cards which I'm thinking about it now like why did I do these before the accordion versions also I put in a large handful of sleeves and I somehow did not have enough I just got a new pack of a hundred in bless I was gonna film this video yesterday and I was like I do not have enough sleeves to film this video I didn't have enough sleeves to film the other video <laughs> So I ordered some for delivery. They came at like eight o'clock last night. But we're gonna go ahead and do the accordion version. I also yesterday started watching Bridgerton. So everybody's obsessed with Bridgerton in my life. Like my mom loves it. My coworkers all love it. Um, I went on vacation with a couple friends last weekend who I haven't seen in a while. And one of them was like, have you seen Bridgerton? And I was like, no. And I like gave it a chance 
a couple weeks ago but I'm also like kind of weird about starting new shows like I have to be in the right mindset because I watch the same things over and over and over again and the thought of like learning like a bunch of new characters and their stories and everything sometimes it's just too much for me like sometimes I just want to watch something and already know everything about like the characters I'm watching right so the other night I was watching Grey's Anatomy because that's like my show at the moment and I was like I'm tired of this like I don't want to watch Grey's Anatomy anymore I finished season 20 and uh then I was just sad because season 21 is so far away and I feel like it ended on such a at such a weird spot I think I need to rewatch season 20 because I watched half of it and then I like went back and watched other seasons for a month anyways so yesterday I was like let me give Bridgerton another chance because I really want to watch something new and I tweeted too because I was like I might want to watch a new k-drama and then I was like you know what let me give this another shot and then if it doesn't work out I will I will watch another k-drama and I started watching it and I was like now I'm on season two I started it yesterday <laughs> which is kind of sad because I feel like it's gonna take a long time so far I don't like season two as much as I like season one also I think it's really funny like some things about this show are just so funny because for example between the first half of this video and the Stray Kids video I put on put Bridgerton back on for a minute because I was like I need to sit here and drink some water and like prepare for the next video so like give me like 10 minutes and the scene that I just watched is if you don't know anything about Bridgerton this won't make any sense to you but the Bridgerton like dad of the family just died because he was out in the garden with his oldest son Anthony because it's Anthony season so it's all about Anthony and Anthony was there with his dad and his dad got stung by a bee and he died because this whole time in season one the mom was just like I miss your father I miss your father the whole time I've been like oh Anthony or what's his name Edmund probably just died from like I don't know some disease like so, like cancer or something that they weren't able to really treat back then or maybe he went out to he wouldn't have gone out to war I don't know maybe he something happened to him and he just got stung by a bee and died <laughs> the garden <laughs> I was like that was the most ridiculous scene like it really was the most ridiculous scene um I'm gonna do the target set next and I was just like that is that is actually so crazy that they spent a whole season last season talking about him being dead and it really he just got stung by a bee of all the ways they could have killed him which i know this is based off of books so like i'm intrigued about the books though already already the books have been inaccurate because when daphne got married her first child was a boy which in the books it's a girl because i looked up the family tree and i was like that's not correct it's just interesting it's an interesting story but season two so far is not interesting me what episode am i on let's see episode three i'm only on episode three so like there's potential still but i'm really excited about season three because it's Colin's season and i already am a big fan of the penelope colin storyline i think that it's gonna be very interesting and so i almost thought about skipping this season going straight to season three because anthony's season is boring me so far that is my thought process i also feel like sometimes Maybe it's because I watched season one in literally a day. I feel like I don't know the characters super well yet. I just thought that was a very funny scene that I just watched, which wasn't supposed to be funny at all, but I was just like, wow, where are the EpiPens? Oh, right. It's literally the 1800s. There are no EpiPens. And he was literally like, I don't know what happened. His mom was like, what just happened? And he was like, I don't know. Your dad got stung by a bee and he was allergic and he died. I also only have five hollow white sleeves, so I need to order some more. They're so expensive though, like they really are. Anyways, I feel like we just added so much to this binder. I'm excited about it though. I am going to put in a couple of pages, blank pages, because I'm gonna at least end up with one OT8 set from my accordion versions. And then I'm probably gonna end up with another OT8 set for the platform or the Nemo versions rather. Um, so I'm gonna throw in a couple extra OT8 sets here. I do think I am going to wait for some card previews before I order those. So, but Soundwave is usually a pretty good bet. But I do wanna see what the second round of pops is like to see if anything catches my eye there. But yeah, that is everything. That is everything. I am excited about a new Stray Kids album. I'm super excited to be using my fillers 
like properly for the first time for a comeback. And I'm also super excited to have separate binders for album and non-album stuff because yeah, it definitely was way overdue for me to do that. But yeah, that is everything for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Um, go ahead and check out the first part of this video if you want to see me set up for all the other comebacks that have been happening recently. Um, but otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.